Well, good morning, happy people. It's the morning of day five, and this is when the ultra, ultra remote expedition begins. You've been following this series. We started out in Georgetown. That's the Venezuelan embassy. I've never seen a Venezuelan embassy before. Flew to Kaitor, then to Apaturi. From Apaturi, we jumped on one of those little boats, made it around Rewa. We fished there a couple days. That was super cool. Then we came 36 miles all the way up here to the River Burst camp. But this is the farthest camp that they have. Now we go 80 miles up the Rewa River to a place called Corona Falls. Very, 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 very few humans have ever been there. We hope to be a part of that list. We've got all of our clothes in the tub, cameras in the Pelican, got my bow. Got a little bit of everything. You know what they say, let's go. Before we get headed up the river, I want you to know that danger comes in all shapes and sizes. That's why I would like to thank today's sponsor, Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself and were totally shocked to see all your personal information on a private listing site? Well, I did. Heck, they had the gates to my ranch listed. They had my phone number listed. They even had my parents' condo listed. Your private life should be private. That's why I use Aura. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, spammers, and others who want to learn more about you, like where you live. Aura can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to, but they make it super hard to do. Let Aura handle it for you. Aura does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats that you can't see and you probably don't know about. It's really easy to set up, so you don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online while you do everything else with peace of mind. You can either let people continue to exploit and profit off your private information, or you can go to aura.com forward slash DMFD to start your free two week trial. There's also a link in the description below. Now back to the river. Favorite cameraman? Camera. Favorite rod and reels? Favorite guide? Roven. Yeah. Austin's new favorite toy? Yeah. Favorite lane? Look at this pool in here. We just ran about 10 miles up the river and we've seen all kinds of beautiful stuff, but there's a bunch of rocks and a big pool right here. We're gonna stop and fish for a minute. These things have been a lifesaver. <laughs> Nothing like an Austin Crocker hook set. Look at this. It wants to go through this cut right here. Like it just doesn't care, it's gonna go through the cut. Ayara probably or nope. Yeah, Darn it. Freaking whopper size piranha. I got pliers that are in my bag. Oh, oh gosh dang it, I just got nailed right there. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at the teeth on that thing. Mm. Austin, I might have you. Yeah. Hold the front door. Whoa, God, dog, I got a bigger fish on here. I got a fish on the hand line. Oh, right. Look at the size of this beast. Look at that thing. That is a monster. I just, I'm literally sitting here trying to get my, the thing untangled. Hold on, I gotta take a picture of this thing. He's trying to bite the floor.
Those rocks ain't good for props. So over here is um, two rivers. One is the Kuitaru River, and this is the Rio River. So we're gonna go up this way. Okay. I had no idea, but the river forks. We're going up the Rewa. The Rio River, it's much clearer, and then the Kuitaru, it's kind of muddy. Look at over there. Why is the one more muddy? I don't know. Neither do I. Since the river split, it's gotten much more narrow. And you can tell there's much less current here. So I think the catfishing and Haimara fishing is going to get phenomenal. All these spots right here would be really good to fish. Like all this. But obviously he, he knows exactly where we're going right now. Everywhere we look is like a great fishing hole, but he clearly knows where we're going. He's the leader of this expedition. He's an amazing fisherman. And if you were to ever come fishing with him, you would understand what I'm saying. He is, he is a master. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's him. You know what? I think it's just a big piranha. You forgot to tell me this setup doesn't work. <laughs> this is the smallest favorite rod I've got. It's a Yampa River. It's made for catching brook trout. This ain't no brook trout. I think it's a piranha. It is a piranha. A stinking big one too. Look at the size of that sucker. And he's biting my bag. Easy. Like if I was a UFC fighter, I would want to be called the piranha because they just don't care about anyone. They have no feelings. Hold on, show them this. This right here is a lifesaver. This bag just got completely soaked. And it's a little scary, but if you open it up, all my batteries are still dry. Huge stress reliever. We have used more gear from Frog Togs on this trip than anything else. It, I mean, literally, my boots, the my our backpacks, the bags, my rain jacket, I mean, you name it, like frog togs. Will Fowler, I love you, brother. This appears to be the local lunch spot. Inside of this big turn created a big sandbar. We all pulled up, all the, all the boats are here. I'm interested to see what we got for lunch. I know I'm gonna cook that piranha. This is what we're gonna get in trail cam videos of. <laughs> Look at that. Blue and gold McCalls. And it just pooped almost on the boat. That's no joke. That bird almost pooped on the boat on camera. We're in the middle of the jungle and they got lunch set up at a table with chairs. Thank you so much. Last night while the boys were getting ready for the trip, they found this, it's a yellow spotted river turtle. There's millions of them. They're not protected, but they do make amazing food. Out here in the jungle, you have to know what's edible. You know how, you have to know how to get it, clean it, and it creates food. Not only food, this is probably the best thing I've eaten so far. River turtle in Guyana. And spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a massive, that's probably a four pound, five pound black piranha. Let's see what his fillets look like. This fish just feels like power.
case you ever wondered. That is what a black piranha fillet looks like. Unbelievable. So you take this fillet and there are literally a million little bones in it. So what you have to do is you have to be real careful when you cook it, otherwise you'll have a mouthful of bone. By the time I clean the fish, they've already got camp broke down, packed up, and they're moving on. If you're gonna keep up with these boys, you better have your acting gear. All right, fish are clean. We got a belly full of turtle. We're heading up river. Where we go, I have no idea. I'm with them. Got me an ice cold, actually it's not ice cold, but it's pretty cold. Cold enough to make me super happy. I feel like I'm in the most five star experience of my life. It's our Capitan right back there. Which way, Roman? That way. <laughs> Thirteen years ago, I came on my first river trip and I saw these butterflies. They're sulfur butterflies and they fly like fighter jets all up and down the river. They're amazing how acrobatic and fast they are. They're so beautiful, they're like lime green. And when you look through the zoom lens, you see all the detail in their wings and it's just amazing. And I would like to dedicate this to my mom. Mom, you're having surgery tomorrow, you're getting your back fixed, and you're gonna feel so much better once that's done. But I knew whenever I came on this trip that I wanted to film these butterflies for you. Everybody else, sometimes in life, you just need to take a minute and look at the detail of the world. Those butterflies are only like five, five yards, five steps away but you take your binoculars, always bring binoculars down here because when you look at them, the detail is just incredible. And all at once they just take off. It's just, it's one of the things that I find absolutely amazing. Now we're gonna continue heading up the river and who knows what we're gonna see next. But for me, I'm ready to get out of this water because it's full of caimans piranhas and other things with extremely sharp teeth. Captain's log, day five. Where did we make it to? We are 16, away, 16 miles away from Corona Falls. So, just got here, that made a little tent. There's some of the fish that we had earlier. this chicken? Fish. Tiger fish. Fish? Yes. What are you making? Pepper pot. Pepper pot? Pepper pot? Yeah. Oh yeah. She just made her a little fire and then she's using the rocks to hold up the pot. She's making a pepper pot and all kinds of food. She's going to cook for everybody here. I ain't going to be able to eat that. That's gonna be spicy enough to actually kill me. Is that spicy? Yes. <laughs> Give me your thoughts on the day, bro. One of my best days filming ever. I mean, this place is truly, truly, truly wild. <laughs> well, what do you know? Here we are, Jerry's catching fish number 864 today. You never know what it's gonna be. Ooh, I got a catfish. Do you really? Or a remora. Look at that. <laughs> Pick that thing up. That's the same kind of catfish that hawk. We feel, whoa. Come here, buddy. Look at this thing. We're gonna call him Sp Smiley. Smiley? Smiley the catfish. Yeah, well, I got Smiley. He's hey, rad buddy. He almost looks like a cobia. No doubt. Not in the tail. They all have that same tail. Almost every fish here has that same exact tail profile. Yeah. This is called parine, and it's really dry. 
we're gonna put some of this right on here that's the actual piranha head you can tell it's the head because it's got all them sharp teeth see that pepper pot is a main staple of folks here in Guyana probably a lot of other places too but it's really really spicy That's some of the piranha. We're going to throw some rice in there. This right here is to cool the flames. I've been avoiding this all trip, but you can't run from your fears for too long. You got to let the juice soak up some of the uh, perine. Perine is from cassava. That's a, uh, it's like dried up cassava. Come on, Jerry, don't Oh, no, I'm watching you. I'm enjoying this. Piranhas are very bony. They have like millions of little Y bones. It's quite spicy. Um, it hasn't begun to burn burn yet. That's tomorrow. How do they make pepper pot? Like, what do they do? With water, salt, and some pepper. And the black hairs, the, the color, the top. Black what? Current? Black hairs, it's like a Chinese sauce. That's where you see the color is dark. Mm -hmm. dark yeah. That's the color of the sauce. The texture is weird. It's very sort of crunchy with all the perine. But the rice and the fish is quite good in it and it's not nearly as spicy as I was thinking. Hey, if you would like to come down here and do a fishing trip in Guyana, make sure you check out Rewa Eco Lodge. They have protected this river for generations. The fishing is amazing here because of Rewa Village and the Rewa Eco Lodge. But if you're gonna go on a real trip, catch an Aeropima and all these other amazing fish, on the Rewa River, make sure you check out the Rewa Eco Lodge, and there will be links in the description below. All of my gear will be linked. Kenneth, who was working with Wilderness Explorers, his contacts are there, and if you were to come on a trip, he could literally pick you up at the airport, travel with you on your entire trip, and guide you on your trip to Guyana. But um, this has been amazing. Just one amazing experience after the other. And I appreciate you being a part of it. But that's all we've got for tonight. Take care, God bless, and we gone.